Welcome to the BeyondTransition.com Weekly Triathlon Race Roundup. This week, we'll be reviewing some of the 153 triathlons taking place around the world. For more information on these races, go to www.beyondtransition.com and click Races. You can also follow us on Twitter as BeyondT2 and find us on Facebook. Iron Distance Races We have one Iron Distance race this weekend. Challenge Cairns in Australia. Emma Bishop, from Beyond Transition will be there covering the race and will be giving away free Beyond Transition t-shirts. Just go up to her and say hello. The Challenge family goes down under with an Iron Distance race in Cairns, Australia. The race is set in one of the world's most iconic tropical locations, selected for its breathtaking scenery. Challenge Cairns features a course memorable for its 3.8km swim in the warm crystal clear waters off Yorkies Knob, its 180km bike leg that travels up arguably the most scenic coastal roads in Australia, towards Port Douglas, and its 42.2km run includes the Cairns Boardwalk, before finishing in the heart of the city of Cairns. Post-race there's more to do, with all that Cairns and the Great Barrier Reef have to offer. This event is sure to prove itself one of the most popular on the circuit. Beyond Transition will be on ground so see you there. Half Iron Races There are no less than 13 Half Iron Races this weekend, giving triathletes in almost every country opportunities lots of suffering and fun. In the USA we have Rev 3 Quasi The Revolution 3 Quasi Half Rev is a half iron distance race at the Quasi Amusement Park in Middlebury, Connecticut. This race is part of the Revolution 3 series, which prides itself on being a family-friendly event. Since the race takes place at an amusement park, the family will have plenty to do while you swim, bike and run. You too will have plenty to do as you swim in one of the most beautiful and cleanest lakes in New England, then bike through rolling hills and challenging climbs with gorgeous hilltop views. After that, run along a scenic course to finish the race. Ironman 70.3 Hawaii This half iron distance race takes place at the Kohala coast of Hawaii. Athletes start the day with a swim in the crystal blue waters of Hapuna Beach State Park, along the Kohala coast of the Big Island. Then they take on the challenging 56-mile bike course on the legendary Queen Kaahumanu Highway. The day finishes with a 13.1-mile run through paradise. Ironman 70.3 Moosman Considered the most scenic 70.3 event in New England, this is a half-iron distance race in Newfound Lake, New Hampshire. The swim utilizes the fresh waters of Newfound Lake, and a picturesque bike course includes rolling hills, views of sprawling farmland and the newfound lake shoreline. The run takes athletes by the majestic granite ledges and over rolling hills. Deuce Man Triathlon The Deuce's Wild Triathlon Festival in Sholo, Arizona consists of four races throughout the weekend, a half iron distance race, an Olympic distance race, a youth duathlon and an off-road exterior race. The Deuce Man Long Course Triathlon kicks off the weekend festivities by taking athletes around the scenic tour of the White Mountains. Grand Rapids Triathlon The Grand Rapids Triathlon is set in Ada, Michigan. This triathlon event is a chance for athletes of all skill levels to compete on a scenic riverside course, perfect for the novice through the season triathlete. This USA triathlon-sanctioned event promises heart-pounding excitement from start to the finish. Racing for Recovery Half Triathlon The Racing for Recovery Half Triathlon is a half-iron distance race held at Sterling State Park in Monroe, Michigan. The swim is by the beach most of the way, so the water will be no deeper than six feet. The bike course is probably the flattest half-iron distance bike course out there with not even an overpass for a hill. The run is similar in that there is no ascent anywhere. The best part is the black-topped path around the lagoons that is totally shaded the entire way. It is a beautiful loop to get focused and fly on. Watch out for the winds on the bike course though. In the UK there are three races to choose from. 
Busk Man. The Bowskman Triathlon at Ellingham Lake in New Forest, UK has a unique distance, being longer than a half iron, but not quite as long as a full iron distance race. Triathletes begin the race with a 2.6k mass start wetsuit swim in Ellingham Lake before embarking on a 120k journey across the northern section of New Forest on gently undulating roads. The 22k run is part off-road and part on-road. It takes on some sections of the full forestman route, which is one of the toughest runs in the UK. Luckily for racers at the Bowskman, this route is not as painful. Old Man Triathlon The Old Man Triathlon in Coniston, Cumbria, UK is a half iron distance race with a slightly longer swim and a shorter bike. It is a very tough race, starting with a 2,000 meters swim, then an extremely difficult 70k bike. It may be summer, but the conditions on the climbs can be wintry. The descents are steep and twisty, so make sure brakes are in good working condition. The run is very extreme, and athletes are required to carry minimum kit to run in the hills such as a waterproof top, map of course, whistle, emergency food and water. The hills in summer can be dangerous as conditions can change very quickly. Weymouth Triathlon the race begins with 1,930 meters open water swim in Weymouth Bay, before an undulating 53-mile bike. The race finishes with a 13.1-mile run. In Switzerland, half-iron distance racing comes to the Swiss Alps, for Iron on 70.3 Switzerland at Lake Zurich in Switzerland. The start of the swim event will take place very close to the ice hockey stadium in the Obersee. From there athletes go on a scenic bike course with breathtaking views of the Swiss Alps. The run takes athletes through along the shore of the Obersee and into the unique old town of Rapperswil, Jonah. Crowd support here is very strong, with the sound of cowbells clanging all through the old town. In Canada, the Oliver Half Triathlon is a half iron distance race that takes place in Oliver, British Columbia, Canada. The two kilometers swim flows a triangular course in the Tuck Elnut Lake. Racers then head out for a 93k bike ride before finishing with a 21.1k run. There are 35 Ironman Canada slots for grabs at this race. Finally, in Australia, taking place on the same day as Challenge Cairns is this half iron distance race in Cairns, Australia. Half the distance, half the pain, but the same great views on the same great course as the Challenge Cairns. The Cairns half also starts in the blue waters off Yorkies Knob with a 1 lap 1.9 km swim course, 1 lap 90 km bike ride and 21.1 km run encompassing the best sites of the city of Cairns. The Cairns half is open to both teams and individuals. Finally, the amazing escape from Alcatraz happens this weekend in San Francisco. For one weekend in the summer, the world's best athletes gather in San Francisco, California for the most infamous and extreme sporting event, Escape from Alcatraz. Starting at the notorious former maximum security prison, athletes will have to endure a 1.5-mile swim in the frigid waters from Alcatraz Island to shore. Then a grueling 18-mile bike race out the Great Highway, through the Golden Gate Park before a demanding eight-mile run through the rugged trails of Golden Gate Recreation Area, and the sand ladder, best to walk it. Set against the natural beauty of San Francisco, this thrilling triathlon is a virtual postcard of the city by the bay. If you're racing don't forget to send us a race review, mratbeyondtransition.com. We'll try and publish as many as we can on the blog. Or tell us about it on Facebook or Twitter. Beyond T2. Have a great weekend, racing or trying and stay safe. See you next week.